the Golden Gate Bridge stands as one of the most iconic landmarks in the world. But back in the 1930s, many said it was impossible to build. The waters were too deep, the winds too strong, and the risks too high. Yet against all odds, a team of determined engineers and brave workers made it happen. Imagine standing at the mouth of San Francisco Bay, where fierce tides rushed at nearly seven miles per hour through waters over 300 feet deep. Add in the constant fog, powerful winds, and the ever-present threat of earthquakes, and you can understand why experts said no bridge could ever span this gap. But Chief Engineer Joseph Strauss wasn't one to back down from a challenge. He dreamed of a magnificent suspension bridge stretching nearly two miles across the bay. His innovative design would become the longest suspension bridge of its time. Construction began in 1933. Workers had to battle treacherous conditions every day. They built massive concrete foundations underwater, using giant steel fenders to protect against shipping accidents. The two main towers rose 746 feet into the sky, each one containing 44,000 tons of steel. The most dangerous part, installing the massive cables. Workers had to walk across thin catwalks suspended hundreds of feet in the air, often in heavy fog and strong winds. They called themselves the Halfway to Hell Club. But remarkably, thanks to innovative safety measures, only 11 workers lost their lives during construction. Four years, 83,000 tons of steel, and $35 million later, the impossible bridge was complete. On May 27, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge opened to the public, transforming not just the San Francisco skyline, but the very limits of what humans thought possible in engineering. Today, this Art Deco masterpiece, painted in its distinctive international orange color, carries millions of vehicles each year and stands as a testament to human ingenuity, courage, and perseverance.